Today, I want to see if we can write to null without a seg fault. So welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry I missed a video last week. It's beginning of the semester. It's super crazy. But today, I wanted to respond actually to a question that I got from the classroom just the other day. It's a question about memory, how addresses are laid out, and whether it's possible on modern operating systems to write to null. Like all my videos, this video is made possible by all of you who support this channel. A huge thanks to those of you who do, especially those that support the channel on Patreon, where you can get access to source code and my monthly office hour. It's a huge help, and I just really appreciate all of you letting me know that you appreciate the content that I'm putting up here. But now let's talk about memory addresses, how they're laid out, and whether or not we can actually write to null without seg faulting. Let's jump into the code. Okay, so first let me give you a little background of where this question even came from. So I was in class the other day, my operating systems class, which you've definitely heard about if you follow this channel, but we were talking about memory layout. And specifically, I was showing them that if I have a compiled binary, so like this example program, then I can use object dump to do some something like object dump dash t and let's say example. And we can look at the symbol table. And one thing that my students noticed is that everything basically starts around hex four zero 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 zero, right? So there's this, like all the addresses start here. We're not seeing a lot of addresses down at the bottom of the address space, even though we always talk about the address space as starting at low addresses and going to high addresses. And so one of my students asked, why is that? And of course, the short answer is that it's basically the linker script has determined that this is where it should go. We can talk more about linker scripts and how that works in a future video. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. And obviously, every architecture is going to have different memory layouts and different constraints. So on some architectures, there might be a particular reason why you want to put a particular segment of code or data somewhere in memory. But there's also an advantage to pushing up all of the stuff that we care about up away from null. And that's because null has special purposes in our programs, right? We use null to specify the whole like points to nothing idea. And when you have memory corruption bugs, like let's say you overrun an array and you start writing junk over a pointer, often that results in pointers that look something like this, where you have you know something like five or 10 or 25 or 350. Anytime you get a pointer that looks like this, we typically say, yeah, that's, that's not a valid pointer. And that's because we're not sticking anything down in those addresses. And so we can safely look at those addresses and say, yeah, that's not valid. But this student, and I really, I'm really impressed with the way he was thinking, basically saying, well, is there a way, you know, yeah, that's convenient. Is there a way to convince the operating system to let me write to null? So I thought today in this video, you know, I didn't really know the answer. I still don't know the answer. We're going to try this out live while I'm recording it. I mean, it's not live to you, but, um, but I really don't know what the answer is. So we're going to try it out. But what I wrote up really quick, let me just show you a quick little example program. And this is sort of the naive way that you might think if I want to use MMAP, which we've talked about in previous videos, check those out. If you uh, have never seen MMAP, if you're confused about what it's doing. Basically what MMAP is doing though is it's a request to the kernel to map memory into my address space to say I'd like to use this memory. Okay. Now, quick refresher for if those who haven't seen MMAP in a while. Basically the arguments look like this. We have a hint right here, which I'm passing in null. We have the size of the space we want to map, which in this case, I'm just mapping one page. So that's 4096 or 4K. I want it to be readable and writable. I also want it to be an anonymous private mapping, meaning that it's not mapping to a file on the file system or anything like that. And then because it's not a file mapping, these can be ignored. It's just basically, I, I'm not mapping file content. So what this is saying is I would like you to map me a page and the hint I'm passing in is null. Now, naively, I might think, hey, passing in null, that's asking for address zero. Actually, because null is special, if we come in here and look at the man page for MMAP, you can see here, we'll open this up a little bit. You can see down here, if the address you pass in is null, then the kernel will just choose a page address for you and it's going to be just random. So if I run it like this, um, I'm likely not to get what I want, but that's okay. We'll run it. It's a good starting point. Basically, all I'm doing though is I'm, I'm assigning what it returns to this int pointer or a uint8 underscore t pointer. And I'm just checking if it turned out to be null, meaning like if I get a null pointer back, that means 
probably success. It means it said, go ahead and write to this null page. And so in this case, I'm going to print out that I'm trying to write to null and then I'm actually going to do the write. And then if I'm successful, then we wrote to null. If, if we actually get to this point, uh, if not, we're probably going to seg fault. And then of course, if it returns something other than null, that means that the kernel just said, sorry, you can't have that page because of course this, whatever we pass in here, it is just a hint. And so in that case, I'm just going to print out, this is the address of the page that I got. Okay. So this is our experiment for something I wanted to quickly try out. And if I run this, let's just, okay, so I guess I, let's make sure that we've, okay, so we've compiled it. And then if we run it, uh, you'll see, okay, so by default, we pass in null, that says the kernel, I don't really care where you put it, just use this, just give me a page. Okay, so this didn't give me what we wanted, it gave me a page number that was way up somewhere high in the address space. But so, so is there a way that we could be more specific? Maybe we come down here and we say something like, I want, you know, address five. This is not null, right? This is not null. So maybe this is going to work. Uh, re I really don't know, but let's just try it out. Okay. And so it's not happy about it. It's like, that's an int. So let's just cast it to a void pointer saying, yeah, this is the address I want. And okay. Yeah. Obviously my VM's having some uh, time skew. That's okay. But now if we run it, Okay, so you can see we just answered the question. So it would be kind of fun. I was really hoping that it would allow me to do this and we could actually write to it. In this case, it still just said, yeah, good luck. I'm sorry, but uh, you asked for address five. I have a policy against giving out the first page in my address space. Not going to do it. And so the answer, just in case anyone's wondering, is you really can't map that first page. And so if you go ahead and write to null, you're going to seg fault regardless, which is, I'm sure, the right thing to do. And I've tried this on Linux. It's possible that other operating systems would give you different results. In fact, let's take a quick look. We'll just drop out of here and look at what happens in Mac OS. And here, let's just recompile it, compile it again. I'm guessing we'll get the same result, but let's just double check. Okay, so we got a different address, but once again, it did not let me write to null. So address is different, but the outcome is the same. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this little experiment. If nothing else, you learned some trivia that you can use to quiz your friends. And until next week, I'll see you later.